got a DD rune on Sinksim as well. They're so afraid to take this fight right now. Because if they mess this up, this is going to be probably the game. They take Rack so quickly with their lineup. They don't have the glyph up either. Tier 3. They do get a minor amount of damage on both Sing Sing and Paris, but that's cool. Quickly being repaired, a rise, two shot. Oh, EGM just walks away with a sliver of HP. Swift ending actually gets hit by the arrow now. Full set of racks down. And it looks like Monkey Freedom Fighters will be able to get out without a fight. In fact, Arise, he wants to be able to challenge this one. He wants more. Trying to use the Aegis going for Bambo. Can't quite get it. Swift ending is going to be the target. Secondary one, Black Hole, once again on three with the Fiend's Grip on top. Pycat is double dead. And now it looks like it's just freedom from here. Actually, Pycat comes back in, throws out that Sonic Wave. Able to take out at least Sing Sing as well as Mad. But Arise is still going strong with that Aegis. Trying to battle up against three. Unable to get any of those kills. Now, the gem actually being recovered there from PyCat. They get still a kill on Arise. Well, no, they can't rampage, and he looks for more. They're gonna need to kite him around pretty heavily, but he does have some backup. Both Paris and Yapsor ready to protect their big carry. They're actually getting laid down, Swift ending pushback. Great cause there from Paris, but is it enough? Arise, not quite enough damage to be able to finish off 60 Bambo, and they do get him in the end, plus an extra. With Clockwork going down as well, four heroes die, and Oh, they're going for the smoke up. Five man smoke. They have Echo Slam. They have all their ultimates leading in. They're already going to jump Paris first. BKB pop by no one to make sure they get this takeoff. And all the RP comes in, only landing on Pasha. They do have Sing Sing actually jumped up, trying to go back. Mag is going down. Team of the Slayer also going to be targeted by Sing Sing, but no one's come back. The BKB going to run out soon for BB9, but he managed to get a bash now onto no one. Running low on mana. They're going to go for a rise first. Pasha now has to turn to help. But it's out with a big critical. A splash of blood takes away the storm. Jared Pasha sounds up Manta. And if you get away, he's going to start going for Yapsor, but the Ghost Scepter comes oh, into play, and yeah. Critical comes out once again, Sing Sing. He manages to win the fight off of a couple great bashes and a number of criticals. Wiping out hero after hero with that long duration. Felt like forever, but that was a nine second BKB charge. That allowed him to kill, I think, two, maybe three different heroes within that duration. Yeah, it's just... He's going back. Oh, That's going to be the target here. No one pices up that kill. Oh, no! First bash! bash. Uh, Don't tell me. No one's going to get away to an invis room. Will be good for now. Ethereal Blade finished up for Yavzor. Interesting item choice. No one's going to go inside. Can he steal this agent? He's got the open slot. Yavzor, do they have any counter vision? I don't think so. No one can he get this one in time? It's just about to pop. Nice, he's the punch. He's going to pop the BKB, trying to get that agent. He's still at it. He's getting away. He's on top of the cliff, trying to get over. Running low on mana, but now an Echo Slam. Mag wants to actually take this fight. The battery saw makes it a little difficult, but they will take out Sing Sing. No, he's actually surviving. Gets pop, at least the Earth Shaker death. And now Yapsor, he's trying to get away. Ice Shards ready to go, ready to block him out, but Yapsor actually wants to turn in fight. He wants to get a kill on this Tusk. Yapsor, though, not able to get it. Oh, the last nuke, he does get it. One for one. Trade off, arise, or get it up. No one doesn't have the mana though. BKB activated, he's gonna get away with Blink Skewer out. position for we make the future. They're gonna start going back up. Nip, ready to pounce. Yonas on Yonas. Yonas. Wait, three man Echo Slam once again with locked out. Hobbs getting 12. That's gonna be bye bye three. And now the Jarcops are locked in as well with a fiend scrim on top. Klasinski, the only man to escape that slaughterhouse. Wait, he actually gets trapped by the shards and now in a bit of trouble, Curl. Thinking about another strike, we'll get caught up at the back. The wall! Oh, this could be ugly if it is! Of the bed, the anti mage got dead and now the snowball forward. Diving in deeper and deeper and shredding Empire to bits. Resolution frantically tries to do anything. Anything! It's an ultra! It's a rampage!
the new is so far this team. Often you can see Huskers just solo push lanes, do all kinds of just crazy looking plays, but oh. he's going to play around this team. Look at the surge in. Yapsor looking for connection onto Big Daddy. That's the call. It's Iron Shell now. Dishes out extra damage. He commit the wall, which he's already on the side of, so wall's going to be a whiff. Fly rotates. They're going to get the kill on the Dark Seer, and neither of them low enough for the threshold. Yeah. It's not going to be able to pull off a dunk, and they go into a three-on-one. He's hoping for spins. He's got him. Hits the dunk on Moon, and Yapsor, he might get a second dunk. He takes out No Tail. Oh, he's like, I'm not playing this game. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. I am not playing this game. That's a scary game of roulette. Yapsor is winning, and no, he's, he's going to get flick. another. He got oh. the flick. He jumps back. No. Not enough for the dunk, but the spins. <laughs> Thank you, R and Jesus. Well, he, he got terrible. RNG. He had four creeps on him and not a single spin. Down, back at top lane. They look to commit in. They took down Yaps for the first time, which forces out buyback Necroman now. Forced to call brace. They could save him from view. Now comes the return of Yapsor. Goes in with a call. Locks oh. Miracle. Can the dog be defeated, Three though? Laser. He's starting to shrug off this. Hip. The laser's going to be there, which will assist. He notices. He'll have to walk through the wall, but... After it's a secondary call off, locks him near that wall. They still can't do anything. This guy is a machine. Look at him. Walking back and away. Look at this. Six things like just trying to body block him to keep him close. Fly's going to show up. and like, no, don't you think about it. Don't you think about it. You don't help him. They get rid of him. Now they go Take back. Take your needs oh. He did just use the Witcher's Curse. Will this man be stopped? He's coming back with mana. He's standing. He's shrugging off three like it's nothing. It's for the satanic, but he is. Here comes Necroman. I will, I will eliminate the man. <laughs> he gets a laser off. <laughs> Miracle's still good. And they're going to take out Necroman. Oh, no. That's Godota. He is too big. He is too bad. And I am too scared. The Freedom Fighters will go down. They lose three all day. He wants the rapid. There's some creeps. This Huskar oh. is just beastly now. With his AC, how do you stop him? Yeah. The PA Witch Doctor unlikely to be able to kill off the Legion Commander here, but very much they're going to look. This is the lane where Lotus is going to have the best time getting fucked. There you go. I've seen this dive underneath the T1 tower between Alliance and Navi before. Although also Vost on the Radiant side, turning things around, getting himself a triple kill. This time around, it's Sonico Trap. Admiral Bulldog with the full on surround. He's going to get first blood. Oh, Sonico, he thought he had it. Plus one armor, not enough for Ogre. And first blood goes the way of Alliance. Bulldog outplays him there underneath the tower. Very difficult to deal with Nature's Prophet. What's the saying when you go into Alliance? Go against Alliance. You do not ban the Nature's Prophet. <laughs> and then game two, you ban it. But guess what? This is the best of one, Navi. So yeah. you've got problems here. Uh-oh. Fight breaks out bottom lane. Sonico trying to hide under the glimmer inside the Sprout. Oh, Bulldog's Looking to make it Bulldog very, very low. The blast to come out. And oh, it's not going to be enough. A little bit here. Bulldog, though, able to make it away to safety. Now it's Alliance as they show up, looking to catch out any small, weak, and wounded ogres. Oh, a juke from Sonico. He hides in the trees, but they do still ping him out. A nut. Sonico's like, he's <laughs> not going to see me here. Give, uh, give, give him 10 seconds. He'll have a TP out. He's safe. Wow. Okay. Thug right there. <laughs> that's the spot. That's the spot. It's complete fog. I guess that's one of those juke spots you just have to know about. Oh, Big Daddy's like, let's try to get some farm guys and keep them behind the line of music. Uh oh. Double game of the low ground. Oh. Oh. They chase though, they blink in. Big Daddy, yes, looking behind no the pit. Juke him! Oh. Oh. oh! He has to guess. He doesn't know which. Oh, the mind game! What a play! Now oh. I know Fata's getting kills elsewhere. Big Daddy is able to barely slip away. Oh, <laughs> oh he, did he duel? Yeah, he also he dueled, dueled the illusion. illusion. Yeah. Oh. oh, it was a one in three at that point. A small victory. For he should have. They just push him back while the rest of the team focuses on the objectives. Tier three's down. Another two seconds until the Winter Wyverns back up, and they get an initiation here. Ninjas of pajamas. Still looking for that opening. They managed to get a Fisher block on S for a good start. Limp is going to try and blow him up, but it's already been stunned up. And actually, Lotus damage is coming in big. He's going to have to blink away from this one. No opportunity for a Sonic Wave. They lose the racks and don't even get anything. Now they manage to get the back him up, but it's only on two. Sonic Wave is not fighting up. S4 ready to go with the turn, and Loda is just fighting up against Era. Now the opening gets dropped on top of that one. Echo Slam gets laid out, but it's never going to be enough. 
Double kill for Lona, and he's looking for a triple in the hands of Era. Goes for a quad, steals Kim, trying to get away back to the bounce by Lona. Escape, ultra kill for Lona. Now the buybacks occur. Nip, desperate to continue to force this fight, but S4 managed to get himself away. Will be sent back to base. Now an Orchid, Dual Scepter is response. Kim Payne going for the blink out. Blink away, no, Rampage for Lona. He keeps on going. Era's gonna try and take away that Aegis, but GG well played. Nip, they didn't stand a chance. Yeah. Ever since uh, round my feet. But, he's nearby. Don't tell me he knows. Don't tell me his fighting senses are tingling. I need to come soon. He is painting towards the pit. He expects it and he jumps in. Bambo! Echo on everyone! It's the charge throw! It's clean up in the pit. Lotus on the high ground. He's got the BKB Eclipse. Can he make it work for himself? Oh, for now, it's not enough. Lona trying desperately to salvage this. They will get the pike. I kill EGM running in, giving the Lancer to S4. And now the follow-up comes through from the Dazzle. This is before they've even brought the PL into the fight. Trapped on the high ground, the cat lady. Hang on. Hang on, Lona. Do what you can, my man. But now the Lance ends him. They'll finish off all five. Bambo, pure instincts. out to the back without having to worry about the chronosphere. It comes out. Vacuum here. Uh, Shallow Grave. Alter Bush a little bit on the early side. Who moves the life kicking on the couple of the BKB. Tombstone will be dropped by the Antimage in the back. Bushi, they do get the bounce. Oh, the cheese comes out! Kind of denying the mana void damage. And now Rage of Potato up against the <laughs> up against Black. The bash walls are real. And the follow Phelpsing stunts from the rest of Fnatic. We'll see the animation early death. He can't buy back. He might have to later on as DJ. Grizzly uh, catching out uh, Jules in the back with another punch. And that's a triple kill for Mushi. Four heroes down. Fnatic in a prime position to start crushing high ground even more now. I will say, I dare say that that is the best cheese usage we will see in ESO New York. Just yeah. <laughs> that was insane. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Let the fuck over here! Sit down! Oh, oh no! Fire! Burn, baby, burn. They're not even going to really do damage to this mid tier 2. Everybody from uh, Monkey Freedom Fighter is going to back. Courier? Courier? Oh. Oh. That was a play. Did they just instantly lose the gem too? The cur You didn't see it. No, I was okay. lucky top. I, I, I didn't even comment on it just because he was such a fail. It was just kind of like, okay. Whitebeard comes in, he nearly gets suicided oh on. He's trying to get up the tomb, so when he gets bursted. He did not expect that one. The charge is going to come through. Swindle's going to be the, the uh, not the target, actually. Way too charged. Boom, there goes the mines. Still, though, the call down hits way too in the background. J.O. needs a little bit more HP. Swindle doesn't actually have Laguna Blade anymore. He pulled it out already. Swindle is going to be dropping a Susie. It looks like nice to oh, nice. nice MJW picks that one up at the side. 747 now trying to get away. Finishes off one. He's gonna go for MTW. Gets that one. Flink away. Just in time. But into mines. Oh. oh my gosh. The mines are everywhere.